What's up, Tice? Oh, hey. How are you? Doing good. Ah, so uh, you do something really cool, right? Yeah, I'm setting up for a pinch turning video. Pinch turning, I've, uh, that's awesome. So let me ask you a question. What's the difference between pinch turning and balance turning? Yeah, so for balance turning, you have the tool on both sides of the, of the spindle. Okay. So they're opposite from each other and they're turning at the exact same time. Okay, so you're saying that, so you got this tool down here that's hitting the bottom of the material. Yep. And you got the tool on top, since this is a nine axis mill turn yeah so this this tool is like this so we're not we're going to be doing pinch turning with this one okay so for pinch turning you're going to we're going to take our tool pass and we're going to split it between the two tools okay one's going to go in first one's going to come in right afterwards doing the second pass awesome so you cut your cycle in half basically okay so so one is at the first cut is at a certain depth and yep. then the second tool comes in and it's at like double that depth yeah, basically just taking one, like your normal OD pass, okay. and we're going to split it right in half between two tools. So one pass is going to be with one tool, and then the next pass is going to be with the other one. Awesome. So like one pass can be at like taking, you know, 50 thousandths, yep. and then the second one's at 100 thousandths. Yep. It's still taking 50 thousandths, it's just going to run right after that first tool. So it's going to follow it maybe like 50 thousandths or 100 thousandths behind. So it's like twice as fast. Yeah. Crazy. It's crazy. And then balance turning. Yeah, so for balance for balance turning, then you have the tools running at the exact same time. Okay. And because they're on opposite sides of the spindle, they're splitting the tool paths with each other. Okay, so at 180 degrees apart, yeah. exactly each tool is on the opposite yeah. side, balancing the yeah. material and then... Uh, and that's good for like, if you have a thin part or a very long part. Yeah. And then you're also able to split your feed rate between the two because you're only using half, you know, you're splitting that tool path between two tools. Exactly. And it takes the vibration out of these long parts. Yep. But on this video, you're going to be doing pinch turning. They're going to be staggered. Yep. Taking different cuts, yep. basically making it run twice as fast in some crazy material, right? Yep. We've got this Inconel 718. Just oh. about everything that you could have happen to the materials on it. So that's it. So chemicals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what he, what Tyson's talking about is, this is Inconel 718, but it's been solution heat treated, and that's why you got these colors in it right here. Ah, oh, so it's a, uh, it's pretty difficult to machine, but. Tyson's gonna machine it I don't know twice why, as fast. I don't know why I said to do it, but I know kind of because you go sign. out, you go after big things, right? It's gonna be great, though. And then you got the power on the mill turn, mm -hmm. the Doosan, the Puma, 3, SMX, thirty one hundred. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Boom. And you're gonna do a tutorial. We're gonna put it up and show people exactly how to do it and how to program it in Mastercam. Yep. Awesome. Thanks, brother. Oh. Bye.